to another exciting edition of Five Orange Vibes, where we bring you what UNFPA Ghana has been up to over the past week. In our headlines, UNFPA Ghana country representative encourages more community engagement as the just ended SDG Day Out. Stakeholders urge to prioritize issues of gender equality. The Tamale Decentralized Office of UNFPA supports entrepreneurial skills training for repaired fistula survivors and incurable fistula patients. TDO takes part in health sector performance review and youth leaders fellows interact with adolescent girls from central and Volta regions. Now to the stories. The SDG advisory unit of the Office of the President in partnership with the Volta Regional Coordinating Council, Volta Region House of Chiefs, Co Technical University and UNFPA Ghana organized a three-day SDG day out in Ho. The event engaged business leaders, innovators, and the youth to mobilize support to accelerate the implementation of the SDGs. UNFPA Ghana's country representative, Mr. Neo Jolaki, in his speech, emphasized the need for such engagements with traditional leaders to tackle the developmental challenges for a healthier and prosperous nation. As part of activities to climax the UK and Africa's Gender Month celebrations, the British High Commission, in partnership with the Australian, Canadian and French High Commissions, officially announced the Ambassador for a Day competition winners. In her speech, Dr. Agnes Kaitankuri, UNFP Ghana's Deputy Representative, addressed empowerment and gender equality challenges and called on stakeholders to prioritize efforts and resources to address adolescent pregnancy, child marriage, gender-based violence, and online abuse of children. UNFPA Ghana's Tamale Decentralized Office, in partnership with the Women's Health Organization International, with support from the Ghana Health Service, has conducted a five-day entrepreneurial and soft skills training for 16 obstetric fistula survivors in Tamale and in the northern region. The training also served as a conduit for providing participants with information on UNFPA's mandate areas, sexual and reproductive health, and sexual and gender-based violence. Key health stakeholders and development partners made a firm commitment to work towards the goal of reducing maternal mortality by 75% and perinatal mortality by 30% in 2022 at the just-ended Upper West Regional Health Sector Performance Review Meeting in WA. During the two-day event, development partners including UNFPA Ghana's Tamale Decentralized Office and critical key health stakeholders identified gaps and strategies and committed to improving health outcomes for all. And finally, the Youth Leaders Fellows interacted with adolescent girls aged 14 to 18 who are taking part in mentorship programs being rolled out by UNFPA's implementing partners. The 10 girls comprising five members each of International Needs Ghana and Department of Gender in the Central and Volta region respectively, joined the Youth Leaders Fellows to learn about the fellowship and the possibilities it gives young people. They also shared stories from the young person's perspective. Thank you for joining us on today's edition of Five Orange Vibes. Do not forget to call the Orange Support Center on 0800-111-222 or you could equally download the Boami mobile app available on your Google Play Store. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to all UNFPA social media platforms to learn more about what we do here at UNFPA. See you on the next episode. Bye.